to the Olympics now. You know, certain high schools around the Valley are football factories, churning out collegiate athletes every year. In Mesa, there's a place like that, but it's for Olympic skateboarders. Yeah, I learned the unique story behind Kids That Rip and the program that has three hopefuls going for gold. The building at 1927 Gilbert Road in Mesa has two signs out front. And inside, it's got two identities, gymnastics and skateboarding. About the only thing these two sports have in common is the Eaton family. I grew up in a gym. My dad was a world champion in gymnastics. He started Desert Devils here in the Valley in like 1970. In 1995, his father Mark was killed in a plane crash and Jeff took over the Desert Devils program. He just didn't want his kids to follow him into the sport. So I introduced him to skateboarding, which I was really stoked on when I was a kid. One Christmas, we bought him boards, and they got on their boards, and I'm like, please like this more than gymnastics. Oh, I was steering him so hard. <laughs> they, were, they were being steered so hard. Jagger and his older brother, Jet, did like it more than gymnastics. We fell in love with skateboarding. I was four, my brother was six, and we just wanted to do it all day. And so while they were coaching here, they just found some space in KTR, and they found some space, put some ramps. And that's kind of how it all started. Jet and Jagger would skate while Jeff coached gymnastics. Then gymnastics parents started asking the Eatons if their kids could join the skate class too. And I'm like, well, it's not really a class, but maybe we'll make it a class. Jeff hired a skateboarder, and they developed a program. And Desert Devils gave birth to kids that ripped a place for kids as young as four to get a foundation in skating. We created this really neat environment that allowed these kids to have a place for six or seven hours a day where they were free to skate and the parents never had to worry about leaving them and letting them be. Desert Devils still operates, but kids that rip can claim three Olympic skaters as alumni. Jeff's son Jagger, as well as Alana Smith and Brighton Ziner. My dad saw a, you know, a huge missing mark in skateboarding, especially an indoor skate park in Arizona you know, that hasn't been hit. And my dad put everything into making this a business for us and doing what, doing what he can to, you know, fund the dream. Jet now coaches at KTR, which is expanding to Peoria and eventually to other states as well. And that's how the Olympic Skateboarding Factory and the Gymnastics Gym came to be. We'll soon learn if the Skateboarding Factory can transform itself into a gold medal factory. I'm so proud that they came into our program and they stayed for a good three years, five years, seven years, some of them eight to 10 years because they found a place that they love skateboarding. They fell in love with it when they were with us and then they took and made it whatever they wanted to make it.